What's up everyone? Welcome to eCPU, the channel where we talk about PC hardware, gaming, and some other stuff. In this video, we're gonna find out if the Red Dragon K552 RGB Rainbow Backlit Mechanical Gaming Keyboard is actually worth its 30 US dollar asking price, or if you would just be better off throwing some of your money into the trash. Let's do this. The K552 is a mechanical gaming keyboard with custom mechanical key switches that according to Red Dragon are the equivalent of Cherry MX Blue key switches offering an activation force of 50 grams, an audible click sound, as well as some crisp tactile feedback. With physical dimensions of 36 by 13.1 by 3.5 centimeters, the K552 really is quite small a result of the lack of a dedicated number keypad. To give you a better sense of scale, here's a look at the K552 right next to a Corsair K70 Lux. The difference really is quite substantial. Whether or not the small compact size and lack of a dedicated number keypad are an issue for you will probably depend on how useful you find the number keypad and whether or not you actually care about the size of your gaming keyboard. All of the 87 keys on this keyboard feature full conflict-free N key rollover, so you can press multiple keys at the same time without losing your freaking mind while gaming. In terms of build quality, the K552 feels actually really good. The combination of metal and ABS plastic make for a very solid feeling keyboard that actually feels just as good as keyboards that cost several times more. At the back you will find a standard non-braided cable with a gold plated USB connector and underneath there are four rubber pads to help keep things firmly situated during gaming sessions as well as two adjustable legs to allow for customization of the tilt angle. The K552 does not feature any dedicated multimedia control keys, however, all of the F keys at the top have alternate multimedia functions that can be easily accessed by pressing any of those F keys along with the function key at the bottom of the keyboard. For what it lacks in dedicated multimedia keys and a number keypad, it more than makes up for with some much appreciated and oftentimes insanity reducing relationship saving functions like spill resistance and a lockable windows key. So what about lighting? With so many backlit keyboards on the market today, how does this little K552 30 US dollar keyboard compare? It turns out it's actually really good. It's vibrant, it's bright, it's colorful, and it looks awesome sitting on your desk. Now there is no software control available for the K552, which means that you're left to use key combinations to control the lighting. By pressing the function key along with the insert key, you are able to toggle or cycle through all of the lighting modes offered by the keyboard. Additionally, there are some pre-programmed gaming lighting modes that can be activated using the function key and any of the number keys at the top of the keyboard. There are also two programmable modes, LR1 and LR2, that offer some additional options for lighting customization. My evaluation of the K552's performance involved using it as my main gaming keyboard for one full week. Based on that experience, I don't really have any serious reservations about it. It performed well in gaming, which is obviously the most important thing considering it's a gaming keyboard, but it also did great in everything else. I found the typing experience to be really good in general everyday computing, and while I did find myself a few times reaching for the non-existent number keypad, I do feel like that's something that I could easily get used to in the long term using this as my main keyboard. And we've reached the part of the video where it's time to talk about all the negative stuff with the K552. But here's the thing, I really enjoyed my experience with this keyboard and there's not a whole lot to say here. The only thing that I think should be mentioned, and it's not really negative, it's more of a personal preference thing, is that these key switches are designed to provide audible feedback. And it really can be quite loud. Every key has this clicking sound when you press it. I think it's pretty cool, but if you're in a room with someone that is easily annoyed by these kinds of sounds, this might not be the right key switch for you. Here's some footage and some audio of the keyboard in action so that you can decide for yourself. So that's just about it. The Red Dragon K552 RGB Rainbow Mechanical Backlit Gaming Keyboard. Why do they make these names so long? It's really easy to recommend because of its good performance 
and value. At just 30 US dollars, this one's going to be hard to beat. I will put an Amazon purchasing link right down here in the description of this video to make it nice and easy for you to pick up your brand new K552. And keep in mind when you go to that Amazon store page, there are some other lighting options that you can get with the K552. So if you're not into the rainbow version that I have here, fear not and check out those other options. And that will be all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. See ya!